Hi, I'm Representative Matt Erpelding and we're into week three of the legislative session and I just thought I'd talk a little bit about something that's pretty important and that is our budget. Did you know that the third largest portion of our budget is our criminal justice system? And in fact, our imprisonment rate has increased fivefold in the last 35 years and we have outpaced all six of our neighbors. And now as a result of our policies, we're currently looking at having to bond half a billion dollars for a new prison. And unfortunately, as our population grows, if we don't change our policies, this is going to become unsustainable. In fact, these are all the things that we have to pay for. So security, food, healthcare, shelter. So as our population increases, the costs within our prisons will increase proportionally. In the last 35 years, we've imprisoned 75% nonviolent offenders. In other words, nonviolent people are going to jail for a long time and they're costing our state a lot of money. So much though, that we've increased our budget for prisons over twice as much as we've increased our educational budget in the last 30 years. That's an unfortunate number. There are a number of things that can be done to decrease our prisons. First, instead of investing all our money in prisons, let's continue to invest in our education system, including early childhood. And then the second is, 13 states have already done this. They've gone through their criminal justice system and they've reformed mandatory minimums. Representative Alana Rubel is doing a great job of trying to reform Idaho's mandatory minimums to help keep nonviolent offenders out of jail and get them back into the workforce. That's my update for this week. Talk to you next week.